Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. So we are here with group three um, with our Christmas and autumn swap on my Facebook page, Coffee, Cake, and Crafting. Um, same with group one and two. We had to switch around some um, partners uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances. So we will correct the names or anything like that. So group three is uh, Raquel, Lasagna, Wakina, and Trish. So let's get started. First up is Raquel. And this is how hers come packaged. So cute. I, I just cannot with this. I cannot. Look at this pink coffee cup. Y'all know my love for coffee and pink. It is so cute. That is going on my little thing right here. Right there. Perfect. Like y'all can see that. Okay. So let's get a different color light here. There we go. Okay. So she has hers with this really pretty lace train. Why does this color look bad? Hold on. There we go. Um, you can reuse that. She has this cloth bag. I like that cloth bag. And it has like a little ribbon. I wonder if I can open it without taking off the bow. Because y'all know I cannot do bows very nicely. So these are her store-bought gifts. Oh, this is a food safe bag. It has the plastic lining in it so you can, um, you know, it's food safe. Y'all know. Oh my god, that's so cute. Things to fetch before I sleep. Yes. Oh, super cute. And she gave, uh, well, she gave me a, um, Dynamics die. I don't know if everyone got the same, so hostess benefits. And then she gifted some really cute gold foil tags. That is so cute. It's a little gingerbread brothers. Or Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> I like that. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Okay. Next we have... Sorry guys. I am so full. We just had dinner. Um, so... I don't know. I'm, I had a lot of soda, so I'm probably going to be acting up on this video. Okay. Here is what she sent. Oh my gosh, that little girl is so cute. I cannot even. Y'all, this is a coffee bag. That is a coffee bag. Like a grind. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. It says, hello, beautiful. So she likes to travel, I'm assuming. Coffee. I wonder, is that coffee with love? And then she maybe she likes to read. There's a little doily and some sparkle behind there. That's really cute. Um, let's see. Instagram, a crafty diva's creations. Her crafty style, she doesn't have one. Whatever she's feeling at the moment. So true. Favorite phrase or saying, make it happen, Captain. Yes. Make it happen. That's so cute. Okay. I'm going to have to step up my game. Uh, Y'all putting me to shame. All right. So then she has some Christmas die cuts, some poinsettia um, leaves, and some... Um, Okay, I don't. I started opening it and then I didn't open it. I don't. I don't know. I told y'all I had too much soda. I can't be having soda this late at night. Okay. Hold on. I'm struggling. Okay, so we have some poinsettia leaves. She can make her own poinsettia, and then she also cut out the. Um, Oh, cute. She did, so she did poinsettia flowers and the five petal flowers in the three, oh, in the three sizes. So that way you can make your own flower, which is super nice. And then she did the holly leaves. Oh, I love the holly leaves. I don't have that one. I have these ones. These are my two favorite, but I don't have this pink color. Cute. 
Okay. So you can make your own flowers. Okay, crafty treats for you. So this is some extra goodies, I think. I like that stamp. So tis the season. Oh, cute. On a matte paper and another little tis the season. Oh, they're tags. Cute. I'm not giving these to nobody. I'm keeping these for myself. <laughs> and then the little snow globes. Oh, they're so cute. The two from. And then I'm trying to go fast, guys. I promise. I, I promise. And then we have her recipe card. And it is for ginger snap cookies. Oh, nice. So here's her cookie sheet. And her flower. That's a great idea. She used um, the um, poinsettia and then added some um, gold foiling and a rhinestone thing. And then here's the rest of the instructions on the back. Great idea. I love ginger snap cookies. I tried to make them one time. And yeah, maybe your recipe is easier. Because <laughs> I was struggling. Okay. And then we have some homemade bows. With some glitter paper and a rhinestone. Oh, it's the North Pole. Huh? I get it. That's so cute. And it has a nice little bag topper on there. Oh, I don't think I need to open that one. Y'all know those. Okay. And then this last doorknob hanger. Or um, you could put it on like a wine. What was that? A wine gift bottle. She cut them out of foam. Oh, so this looks so nice. She gifted you guys. Um, oh, these are the topper things. And then some tags so you can use this as a tag or you can adhere it to the um, wine topper so it's like that. And then you just kind of fold this. Oh wait, I'm lying to you. <laughs> this is what you do. <laughs> uh, like that. And then you add your tops. Like that. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. And then you just kind of you fold it on the perforated line. And then um, you put it on your bottle of whatever. Or glitter glue, wine, champagne. So see, this is a really cute paper collection. You know, I have not been looking at the camera, so I am so sorry if this is not in frame. I hope so. Okay. Perfect. And... Where do these come out of? Oh, right here. Okay. Sorry, I had to put these back and then my son was just talking to me. All right, guys. Thank you so much, Raquel, for participating. And thank you so much for making me one. I love it. I love this color. You know I do. And you know I'm going to steal that coffee bag. I just cannot let how cute that is. All right. Well, on to our next person. Next up, we have Lasagna, who is Miss Doll's Handmade Creations here on YouTube. And this is how hers come packaged. So cute. You guys did such a great job. I'm loving it. Okay. Oh, I think I just wiped glitter in my eye. Oh, Lord. All right. So she packaged it up with this pretty snowflake um, gold and silver ribbon. I don't want to mess the bow up. I'll fluff it up. That's how it looks. <laughs> it's so cute. And she put some jingle bells on there. So when I was carrying, it was so funny because um, when I went to the post office, I had like three or four packages. And I didn't want to have to walk back and forth. Um, so I just took everything together. Well, this package was on top and the bells were just jingling, so jingling as I was walking. <laughs> And people were laughing. It was great. It was my own sound effects. <laughs> okay, so she has everyone packaged in this 
acetate. Oh, this is clever. So it's actually, oh, I thought it was a bag. And then she actually took acetate paper and made her own bag. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm trying to see which one would be easier, staples or tape. Maybe staples. I want one of these little tiny staplers y'all have. I know it's like the Tim Holtz or something. I don't know why, because I don't really staple anything. So um, let me just cut this. I guess tape would have been easier. Oh well. Okay. See, it's an acetate paper. That's a great idea. Okay, so we have. Okay, I I just tore it up. Um. I really think I rubbed glitter in my eye. <laughs> all right so i don't know if you guys have a card or not i do with the look at the little the girl washi tape it's so cute and so fun and sassy oh that's cute oh these are her questions okay perfect cool i like this color envelope too it's so pretty the mint green all right, since I have her questions in my hand, let's go ahead and do that. Favorite Christmas tradition is when her husband goes out and purchases everyone in the house new matching pajamas. We all get together the night before Christmas, put on our PJs, make hot chocolate, and watch Christmas specials snuggled up on the sofa. Yes, I love it too. I made my, I got my kids and my husband onesies. <laughs> Anywhere in the world, she would go to Paradise Island, now called uh yep can't pronounce it either t-h-e-m-y-s-c-i-r-a themisira i don't know this is her real birthplace and would love to finally meet the warrior sisters i have always known who she is a strong black warrior goddess so she would love to meet others like her if you haven't figured it out by now i am wonder woman yes yes I love one of them. Um, favorite crafty story? She says, I still laugh till this day thinking about this, but when I first showed my girlfriends my craft room, they turned to me and said, ain't no way on hell I'm buying all this stuff. <laughs> you gotta be crazy to have all this stuff. <laughs> I think it may have taken an entire year before they realized that they were buying all that stuff. Today we all go to the Cabin of Mountains once a year to craft with each other for an entire week. I told you craft was in my blood. Oh yes, yes it is, girl, I'm telling you um million dollars she's been thinking about this for many many years she's written out a plan just as long <laughs> so here it goes first she would take out her her um tide 10 percent then would buy 20 plus acres and build her dream house which would include a connecting craft house yes she would build a house on land for all her children my kids won't fend for themselves <laughs> it builds character <laughs> i would have a brick wall and electric fence built around her property boundaries Underneath my property would be an emergency bunker. Her family would be able to live for up to 10 years without needing anything. Girl, go to my grandma's house. She already got all that. She, Let me tell you, when I say um, I went down there to help her clean it, she calls her a cellar, to clean the cellar out, she had canned vegetables down there from 1973. <laughs> she, and she said, well, that's everyone's going to live down here. She had wrapping paper from like 1960-something. Lord, I was dying down there. Uh, da, da, da. It'd be furnished to the tea and stockpiled with food. Once all of that has been taken care of, she would schedule an all-inclusive vacation uh, for her family. She'd travel around the world to see places we thought we'd never go, like Africa and Dubai. Man, Dubai's come up on a lot of people's. I would also create a business where I would help families get on their feet. I feel that sometimes people just need helping hand to get out of a bad situation. Why not help them if you can? I would also be the person who stands inside the grocery store and pay for people's groceries on the spot or get their layaway paid in full so they can go make a payment and it's done. I'm a very given person. I believe that you always treat people the way you want to be treated. People think that with a million dollars, they would be able to quit and not work for anyone. If you don't have a plan, you'll be broke. Indeed. Y'all see how the lottery ruined my life? Um, as you can see, I worked it out. You sure did, girl. I am not mad at that. 
I wouldn't quit my job. I wouldn't let nobody know I had a million dollars. Nobody would know. I'll still wear my same old Walmart pants. I don't care. Nobody would know I have a million dollars. Because I'll still have my car that my husband wants me to get a new one. I also have my same 2007 Mazda 6. <laughs> yes, sir. Nobody would ever know. Okay. So, oh, cute. She sent a whole bunch of goodies. Again, I don't know if you guys um, are getting these or if it was just me. Oh, this is really cute. So it's a butterfly border die. Or you can use it as a bag topper. Oh, those are cute. So on the picture, you can um, um, make it like a box border. Oh, I turned it around. Those are really cute. And then she has some Maggie Holmes stickers. It says sparkle every day. It's the carousel. Oh, I don't know why I keep turning this stuff around. Dream big and has some letters and some hearts and stars. It says filled with joy. Oh, happy day. Shine bright. On top of the world. Best friend. Magical moments. Oh, those are cute. And they come in blue and pink. And then she has gifted. Um, oh. <laughs> it says believe. Oh, I haven't seen that one before. This is an extra gist for me. Sorry, guys. Y'all know my obsession with the word believe um i even got it tatted mm. yes i should get coffee tatted on me somewhere i feel like that would be relevant my whole life and then she has gifted some paper crackers these are the christmas crackers that you um um put little treats in Oh, nice. So she included the um, twine for them. So you put them together. And um, this one's a little, you know, the twine's here. I'll just undo it a little bit so you can see. Come on. So you just tie it on like that and then you rip them. So I showed you that there. Um, I have one on my desk. So they're like the Christmas crackers, but um, instead of triangle, hers are square. Rectangle. Those are awesome. I love these things. Especially in England, like when you go out for dinner during Christmas season, they always have them on the tables. And they have like little jokes in them and um, little, you know, like bouncy balls. And they're supposed to be for kids, but I like them. They had adult ones that had like inappropriate jokes. They were great. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have, oh, pretty. These are her resin pieces that um, she makes. Her and Trish be making up some resin. And C, I think C did. C, did you do some resin pieces? I think so. Or was it resin or called something else? I don't know. I can't keep up with the names of these, but like the hard plastic. <laughs> That's the best I know, hard plastic. That is so cute. So there's a little Christmas tree and some presents. And you can color on this with like Sharpie or like, you know. Just non-water based stuff. Like I talk, I'm talking like I know what to do with that stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, you can color on it. I saw somebody on YouTube coloring on it. How about that? Okay. And then here are some more goodies. She has gifted some really cute bows. And cute Christmas paper. And these really cute flowers. I think these flowers are from Michael's. Or did you make these? I feel like I've seen these. I don't know, but either way, they're super cute. Okay. Now on to her card. Her crafty style is clean and simple and girly. Her phrase, treat others the way you want it to be treated. Girl, bye. That's my favorite style. My favorite phrase is bye. But especially when my customers are like, I'm never going to bank here again. Okay, bye. You got to say it just like that. All right, so here is her, a uh, few of her favorite things. Family, music, it has some headphones, um, love, and some coffee. Of course, coffee should be on everybody's. Or tea, or just, you know, honestly, just the coffee cup. I think I like any beverage in the coffee cup. <laughs> I just like the cup. And then butterflies. Oh, that's a really pretty butterfly. What would you make that out of? Like some acetate paper? 
Oh yeah, some printed vellum and some white and some roses. Oh my gosh, that's steam. <laughs> I love it. Oh Lord, I hope I didn't show your address on camera. Okay. Next we have her recipe, which is crock pot. Oh my gosh, get in this bag. Which is crock pot um, hot chocolate, hot cocoa. <laughs> Not crack pot, like I said the first time. I know, I know. I'm, mm, I'm gonna stop with the soda. I really don't drink alcohol. I sound like I'm drunk half the time, but that's so cute. Oh, it's sweet and condensed milk. I gotta try that. I just bought some of that. I was gonna make German chocolate um, cake, but um, I did not. So, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's not bad at all. Those are really cute. What'd you make that out of? Oh, so this is like foam foam sheets that she put some um uh what do you call it? Glossy accents on it. That's a great idea. Well thank you so much, Lasagna, for playing. We greatly appreciate you and thank you so much for making me one. Y'all know I really, really super duper appreciate. Um, okay, and now on to the next person. Okay. Next step, we have Wakina. Let me move this ribbon. This is how hers come packaged. So cute, little gifts. Oh my gosh, I I love gifts. I love opening stuff. That's why I like hosting because everyone's different. Okay, so she has instructions onto what everything is, but y'all know I don't like to follow instructions, so I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, they're not very hard instructions, but okay, so. Some good paper. Okay, so everything is individually wrapped, she said. So we have let me let me let me look at the instructions. Um her recipe card is in tissue paper, treat bag, clear bag. Okay, cool. I got it. So we're just gonna jump right in. This is her store box gifts. In a um Treat bag. Oh, super cute. All right, so she has gifted some red gems, which y'all know we need these coming up. Um, a little cute tassel keychain. Ouch. Perfect for October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And some flare buttons. Oh, girl power. Fight like a girl. I love it. Perfect for October. Y'all know what? I just thought of something. I have not gotten over to Panera to get my um, cherry vanilla bagel. I am tripping. Okay. Next up, the tissue paper was what? I forgot. Already. Her recipe card. Okay, so next up is her recipe card. Oh, so cute. I love all these intricate, um, like silhouette or uh, cricket cuts, but I, I just don't have the patience to put all the little pieces together. <laughs> she says, Mary and Bright. This is her recipe for Christmas morning hash brown casserole. Oh, that sounds delicious. It is with hash brown potatoes, chorizo, or Italian sausage. Oh, I can't. I gotta start reading this. I'm gonna get hungry all over again, and I'm full. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, and then um, it says it's all part of my mystique. Yes, I love this paper. This is the um, fabulous. I think it's what's it called. Okay, and this one she has. Oh, cute. She has a rosette with a heart. It says, bless your heart. <laughs> and then you and me, the little banner. I've used so much of this paper collection. I absolutely love it. It's like one of my favorite. Because this actually looks like my mom in the, um, in the 60s. <laughs> it does. I made my mom a Mother's Day gift out of it. Okay, I can't open the bag. There we go. 
Oh, cute. So she has altered and made a cute little um, bottle cap keychain. Oh, that's cute with the little puppies. You could put someone's name in there. That'd be really cute. And she has also made a altered um, craft pin. I was calling them hair pins. They're craft pins. That's a good idea. Just a cute little rolled flower. That's really cute. And then she just made like the little pocket for packaging. That's a great idea. I always struggle when I have stuff like this. I don't know how to um, pack it. Well, I do the same packaging for everything. I need to learn how to do some more packaging. <laughs> Super cute. Sorry, I'm still looking at it. Let me get this package open. All right, so we have her. Ooh, we got a little pocket letter and her um, Rolodex. So this is it with her. <laughs> I love these glasses. I just bought this file. I absolutely love those glasses. And it says, you go, girl. Yes, I have to read it in my sassy voice because that's the only way you can say you go, girl. That's really cute. So I would wear these glasses. Y'all know my obsession with glasses. Um, she does have social media, but she doesn't post much. She is WB1206 on Instagram and Wakina um, Balmer on Facebook. Her crafting style is clean and simple. Favorite saying, not for nothing. <laughs> yes, I'm going to steal y'all sayings for real. Oh, super cute. So she made it the cute little winter um, pin, stick pin. You can put this in your glitter glue if you want it to. How cute is that? And she has a little altered, um, oh my God, I was going to say snowman, Lord, Christmas tree. And she has it all wrapped up in a little bit of twine. That's so cute. Okay, let me unwrap it. Come on. Cute. Okay, so she made a shaker in the middle, and then you have a, some um, a little card that says family time, a tag, and then here is her letter. It says make a wish. If I can even open it, you could definitely read. Put this in your pocket letter book. I love shakers, shaker bits. Okay, let me stop playing with that. We will be here all night. Oh, she made a little zine. <laughs> so cute. Favorite Christmas tradition? She has a tree trimming party every year. Cute. Uh, favorite crafty stories? And one she hinted all year for a Cricut heat press, and her kids surprised her with one on Christmas. And she's only used it once. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> If she won a million dollars, she would pay off all of her nephews and nieces and her kids' student loans. I would donate some, invest, put some in the bank, and take her entire family on a world cruise. So fun. Um, oh, I skipped one. Sorry. If she could go anywhere in the world, she would go to Egypt to visit the pyramids. That's awesome. I know. I got my... Um, my silhouette for my birthday and it took me like six months to even open it like i didn't even open the box it just sat and my husband was like why do we buy you this if you're not even going to use it so i just want to look at the box <laughs> all right thank you so much for participating i really appreciate it everything is so super cute and thank you for making me one okay and now next is should be trish okay we'll be right back okay Rounding up group three is Trish. This is how hers come packaged. Super cute. I love this red and white twine y'all got. And then she has some cute little tool. Perfect red bag. Y'all know that's my favorite color. Well, one of them anyway. I got a lot of favorite colors. Let's jump right into this. Now I do know um, some of the stuff. Well, one thing in here, Trish told me what one thing was. Only because I got it. Um, Trish had to be put into a different group because uh, some members in her group did not um, did not complete their swap. So um, 
I know one thing that's in here because I have to change the personalization on it. <laughs> okay. So, oh, cute. She made a little purse, a little shopping bag. Y'all see that? And I also looked at her video, so. <laughs> I don't know. Did I watch the video or did I see the picture? Either way, I cheated. <laughs> I didn't see the final packaging, though. So cute. Okay, so the Trish is Creative Minds Creations on YouTube. And this is how, um, I'm going to cut the bottom. I was just trying to, oh no, I can open this up. Okay. Trish is known for her altered dominoes. If I can get this out without hitting it with the tape. There we go. Uh oh, one of the bells came off. That's all right, we'll put it back. So she has made a really cute rosette with a snowflake cut out and a bow. But the, is that a bell? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And the word believe. Y'all yeah, know my favorite. She did an altar clippy. And it has two little dangle things. Oh, beads. Yeah, there we go. She did an altered bottle cap with a crepe paper rosette. With the jingle bows and a little snowflake. Oh my god, that's so cute. Sorry, I, I always make my sound effects in the background, y'all. I'm sorry. Or whispering to myself, that might be the other personality come out. I don't know. So, so cute. So she did some striped paper with glitter, a little candy cane um, metal piece, and a um, resin holly. I think these were buttons. I think I've seen those. I'm not sure I might be lying to you. But look, it's a regular old domino. That's so cute. Y'all know I <laughs> love it. Okay, I'll put that. Let me close this up so I don't get the sticky on the thing. Okay, I'll put that over. Next, we're going to open up this cute little shopping tote. <laughs> so cute. And inside we have some tissue paper. And oh, cute. Oh, Lord, I'm about to break it. Super cute. A big old diamond. Because <laughs> diamonds are forever. That's really cute. Now, I don't know if I got the diamond because, you know, Tiffany diamonds, y'all may have something different. I don't know. That is so cute. I'm going to put that on my thing, too. Okay. Then. She has her information in here. This is her um, Rolodex, memory decks. She has a little jingle bell and a light. Oh my god, that's so cute. A little banner, a little Santy. Santy Claus. Um, her craft style is clean and simple. Her favorite word, discombobulated. <laughs> yes. And she is um, Facebook, YouTube, Creative Minds Creations. Okay, and this is her recipe card. This is the Kool-Aid pie. I was like, I'm going to have to try this. So it's like whipped cream and Kool-Aid and sweet condensed milk. Yes. And you cook it. Oh, she even has like alternative ways you can do it too. That's a good idea. I am going to post the, uh, well, I will... Probably not to, well, hopefully this weekend what I'll do is I will get all of the recipes and um, post it on the Facebook page. Um, I can't promise that I'll get it done tomorrow, but sometime this weekend I'll get them all up there so y'all can enjoy the um, recipes. Okay. Um, favorite Christmas uh, tradition, visiting family anywhere in the world. She would go to Paris and or Hawaii just to visit somewhere she's never been. Crafty story. She was so excited when she got her first Cricut expression and used it to cut her kids' names out of contact paper to put on their bedroom doors. Super cute. If you want to... Okay, a million dollars. She would share with her parents, siblings, children only. <laughs> she would donate to charity, um, a cause, or research. She would travel and build by a craft house. So cute. Y'all are so much nicer than me. No, I probably would. I'd be like, oh, here, everyone, and then I'll end up being broke. <laughs> I'll be on. The million dollars ruined my life. 
Okay. And this is her item that she made. And I know she made one for everyone, so y'all are super lucky. Look at this. <laughs> Hello, Christmas TN. How cute is that? And she added um, the dashboard here. And she altered a little notebook so you can write all your stuff. And then a dashboard pocket so you can add all your little stuff in there. And then another, oh, these kind of dashboard pockets. I like these. I need to learn how to make those. Let's try to do a video. <laughs> I know how to make the pockets. Like, it's a, I don't know if y'all can see. I know how to make those, but I don't know how to make these. And then she has a tiny little pen clipped on with um, some elastic, like, hairband um, material with the um, binder clip. And then here's a second notebook for you. That is so cute. My binding never comes out this clean. I gotta learn how to do this. I gotta show off because y'all showing off. <laughs> These are so cute. Thank you so much, Trish, uh, for making me one. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for participating. Um, everyone in the groups, you all did an amazing job. It's group one through three. Um, everything was perfect. And thank you guys so much for understanding um, what the little switcheroos I had to do. I know it's a little frustrating, but... Um, you know, we had to do what we had to do. So thank you guys so much for continuing to support me and my channel and my Facebook page. And thank you guys. Have a great night.